Hey there, Chris Wells here. Just wanted to do a quick follow up to the beginner's guide to vertical video that we've just put out. And I just wanted to show a kind of more advanced way that you can play with the vertical videos and your aspect ratios. So when you have a project set up to vertical video, you can go up to this button up here and you'll get a couple of tabs along here. And if you go to video, you'll see displaying narrow as wide and displaying wide as narrow. And that basically is telling Lightworks what you want your project to do when it encounters video that's either long and the project's wide or vice versa. So obviously at the minute, we've got a wide bit of footage here. So what we can do is displaying narrow as wide, displaying wide as narrow. So obviously this is a wide video on a narrow frame so we can have it on full frame which is the default which is everything on the previous tutorial explains quite well or we could go to partial zoom and that automatically zooms it in or even full zoom and as you can see that's already completely filled it in and because this is centrally framed that's way easier to just you know get everything in straight away if you have something like the penguin video you'll see the framing isn't necessarily as you want it so at that point you would just want to use the same kind of effects that you had before transform 3d and then just have a little play with the x-axis either using this tab here manually typing it in or just using the scroll wheel to really finesse the kind of position you want it to be because we want it you know a lot more central than that but obviously at this point you don't need to worry about the z axis and this works the same way for vertical to horizontal video so if we go here you'll see oh no we've got the black bars but maybe we want to crop it in go to your project go to your video settings and we've got displaying narrow as wide full frame let's now do full zoom and there you go it's perfectly zoomed in Obviously, we need to do a bit more of a tweak again. Let's go back to the transform options and just drag it to the, exactly the position that we want to in order for it to fit in. And that's just a bit of a faster way, especially if you've got a lot of wide video that you're wanting to put into a vertical project or vice versa. Just play with the project settings up there via the project card just up here and just tweak the settings as you like in order to fit everything into the frame how you want it to be.